morning, YouTube family. Say hi, Frazier. Hi. It's freezing cold. It's about 10.30 in the morning. The big boys spent the night with my mom last night, and we stayed up way too late watching OU get their booties kicked in the national football playoffs, so that was kind of disappointing. But this morning, we are up, and we are getting ready to go and get some groceries. We're gonna try to get back on the healthy bandwagon, but first. <laughs> One last trip. One last honey butter chicken biscuit. One last unhealthy surprise <laughs> before we go and get all of our healthy groceries. So we're gonna go to Walmart, Whataburger, Walmart, and then we're gonna go pick up the boys and then we're just gonna have a fun, relaxing family day today and not go back outside because it's freezing cold today. today? Yeah, I was gonna do a number 25. Number 25 meal or by itself? Uh, meal. All right, what's your drink with us today? Diet Coke. A right, diet. Can put your meal with us today? No, that was a diet coke. I'm sorry. So we just got home from Walmart, picking up the boys. Now we got to get all the groceries put away, and then I think that we are actually gonna have nap time today. Nap time. And then we're gonna wake up and we're gonna do some fun things. So at Walmart, we ended up getting a ton of healthy stuff because like I said, we're getting back on the wagon today. We normally eat gluten-free most of the time, but we let ourselves um, have some leeway over the break and you can definitely tell. I think that we have both gained about five pounds because we're not used to eating a whole bunch of bread. Face is broke out, face is puffy, so we've got to get back on our gluten-free train for sure. So we got a lot of veggies, we got a lot of fruits, and we actually really do like to eat healthy. Ryan's making our meal prep for the week. We're gonna have fajitas. So I am sitting in our demolished playroom while Carter watches YouTube. We'll eventually get to all the housework. Right now we are just trying to have fun, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll get to all the organizing in the new year. So Ryan's meal prepping for us because hence we already said trying to be healthy. We're gonna have some just a little bit of that for lunch and then we'll save the rest for meal prep. And then the boys and I are going to do a project. You excited? Today we are reading The Hobbit and our last book that we read we kind of did a lot of science experiments with and learned about science so this time I was trying to lean more towards like the artsy side so we are going to be making the keys that what was his name Thorin? Thorin? We haven't watched the movies yet. We're only two chapters into the book. So Thorin has a key that supposedly is going to get him in to where Smog lives. The dragon. The dragon. And so they can get all their treasure back. So we are going to use modeling clay that we're gonna bake and make keys and paint them silver. So after we eat, we're going to do that and you're gonna come and watch us. So I thought I'd come back here to my room where it is nice and quiet so we can talk about how I am trying to encourage my children to learn, to research, to be um, explorers and adventurers and you know, just love knowledge and just wanna soak it all in. So as my boys started school, um, I really, really wanted them to be successful and to do everything I can to keep them from struggling. So we started doing the spelling words and we started doing the sight word, little cards and you know, learning all the math facts. And while all that is very, very important, they do it all day at school and school is already taking out so much of the coloring and the art and the singing that I feel like even like as young as first grade, they sit there and read books and do worksheets all day long. So the last thing they want to do on the weekend or at night is more stuff like that and so I was getting kind of frustrated and I I am an educator but I teach college students so it's way different I have no knowledge teaching younger children so I was just like getting frustrated because I was wanting them to learn and expand their knowledge but they just weren't having fun doing like that standard by the book stuff well about a year ago two things happened 
the first thing is we started reading chapter books together where almost every single night I'll read a chapter or so out of a book and then Carter and Eason will sit there and listen and they absolutely love it. Frazier's even getting to the point where he can sit still and listen for a little bit now. And we just tend to love to choose books that are movies as well so we'll read the book and then we'll watch the movie and we just love to compare and contrast how they were the same how they were different and we started off with um lion witch in the wardrobe and then we also did how to train your dragon those are the two that we started with and we just had so much fun doing that well about the same time my best friend actually bought a preschool and she runs a preschool and she was telling me all about the curriculum that they do and she went to all these different trainings and I'm pretty sure it's called Reggio it's like the method of learning I'm not an expert I can't even remember what it's called but when she was telling me about it this like giant light bulb went off on my head and it seems so simple seems so like something that anyone would know but for some reason it just set off a light bulb in my head so basically what they do at their school is they take whatever the kids tend to be interested in and they just run with it spelling words math science it's all focused on what the kids are interested in. so for example um, at one point they were super into bugs so their spelling words all had to do with bugs so maybe like legs or spider fly things like that were all related to the bugs they grew butterflies in their classroom they had earthworms they learned about soil because that's where the bugs live and how they help so basically they just expanded and just learned everything from science to art to spelling they used different um, bug shaped manipulatives to do math and it just put this light bulb, on, light bulb off on my head is to get what my kids are interested in and teach them to run with it. So I'll give you an example of how we do it. The most recent book we read was Wrinkle in Time. And we read Wrinkle in Time and then we watched the movie and the boys just absolutely loved it. Like they were absolutely fascinated. And they were like, mom, I really, really, really want to learn how to tesser, please. We got it on a tesser. And so I was joking with them that, you know, you got to learn quantum mechanics to be able to tesser and go between time and space. It's like quantum mechanics. So they were like, well, where do we start? So you know, that light bulb that had gone off. And so I was like, well, let's start with chemistry and physics. So we went to the library and we checked out books on chemistry for kids. We did science experiments at home. We learned they are literally seven and 10 and they can tell you exactly how to read the periodic table how many protons neutrons electrons just by looking at the periodic table they can tell you because they wanted to learn it they were so interested in it we made cookies that were like atoms um, with the right numbers of protons electrons and neutrons and we put them together so they learned how to make molecules i mean the sky is the limit. We learned about different types of matter and I'll actually put in a few clips that I had filmed just like on our phone for ourselves because um, I wasn't really planning on making a video about this. I'll put in some clips of us doing the Adam stuff and the wrinkle in time stuff um, right here. So this weekend we, we watched, we read wrinkle in time and then we watched the movie um, a couple weeks, at, a couple weeks more and then, and then and, and then I told my mom I want a tester, but first I gotta learn about this. Yeah. Science. So, yeah. What are you doing? We're separating and eating the little candies we're using. But I mean, what are you separating them into? Piles for our electrons, neutrons, and protons. So, what element are you going to make? I am actually going to make carbon. Carbon? Carbon. Okay, so tell me how you know how many protons to put on carbon. The number six right there tells you how many. Six you need. protons? Six protons, which are. What are protons they? are blue. So explain your cookie to me so far. So we have um, six neutrons and six protons. And the neutrons and the protons make up the nucleus, which is. The center part of an atom. I'm making a molecule called H2O. Which is? 
Water. We need two hydrogen and one oxygen. What are you eating, carbon? Mm -hmm. How does carbon taste? Exceptionally delicious. So that was our wrinkle in time learning about science. And since we did that one and we did so much science with it, this time we decided to read The Hobbit because we're trying to read like some classic books that like all kids should read by the time they grow up. Yes, I found a list on the internet on Pinterest, Googled it, and I made a list of all these books for us to read together. So this time, since we did so much science-based stuff last time, I decided that I wanted to do a lot of art projects and get more artsy and creative with this book. Um, so basically, it was awesome. I was on Pinterest and I found searching stuff to do with The Hobbit and I found this link to this book. I'll put the link to the Etsy store that sells it and it just has all these lists of activities that you can do with The Hobbit. So it's super neat. Um, today we're making keys out of modeling, modeling clay and we're gonna paint them and we're gonna show you. But there's so many things that that book has from like making little pouches and it even has stuff like we are gonna go um, when they get to the part where they're walking up the mountain we're gonna go we have mountains where we live so we're gonna go hiking and we're just gonna do a whole bunch of different things and that's kind of how we choose to make learning fun for our kids they don't dread it it's literally like something they want to do they like are ready to read every night they want to do the projects they don't feel like they're learning and so I hope our little method helps you guys and we definitely plan on making some videos of you know maybe the different books we're reading and all the different projects that we do along with them. So, hope you enjoy them in the future. You're doing great. You're rolling so good. Okay. Yeah. Pass it to Carter. Just gonna flatten it out. Going in to bake. Hey you, are there any more of your sort of sneak in here in the woods? You nasty little rabbit. He said looking at the hobbit's furry feet and he picked him up by the toes and shook him. of our own things for the night. We normally will read a Bible story and we'll read a little bit of the story that we're reading together, which right now, like I said, is The Hobbit. So we've only got a few, two more chapters and then we can watch the first, first movie. movie. 